Well, the 12 days of theology are still underway, and today this is what I have to say. I have stopped rhyming in this specific timing, and I'll just cut it out right about now. So, to, on today's topic, can religion be secular? I would say no, because secular itself means without religion. It's something I might have overlooked when I posed this question to current 80s as we were organizing this. So, I'm going to change this to, can secular ideologies become religious? I think it's fair to say, yes, yes they can. To prove this, I want to point to something that we might all be familiar with. If not in ourselves, maybe in a friend. Think back to our days in high school, maybe junior high, maybe even later as university or even to the point of old age when we found ourselves a political ideology that we all just fell in love with. Maybe it's Marxism with its division of the proletariat and the bourgeoisie causing us to want to make an uprise of ourselves and end the conflict, or maybe as young objectivists following our great prophet Ayn Rand in our struggle to attack those seeds of parasites who are mooching off those of us who are engineering our way to a progress in society through capitalism. These things can become rather religious in nature. I'm an objectivist. I'm a Marxist. I'm an anarchist. You know, we give ourselves these labels. We're rather proud of these labels, and we take it to the nth degree, studying great writers in all these specific uh, areas. If you're a capitalist, maybe you're a fan of Adam Smith and the Wealth of Nations, Karl Marx. Maybe we've read the great economic work Des Capital. Or maybe if we're libertarians of the anarcho persuasion, maybe some Murray Rothbard. In this specific case, we've all had someone who've gone a little overboard. Now, we might not think that these systems themselves are religious in nature, but we can make quite a religious attitude of it in ourselves. Now, as a way to prove this, I actually want to look to Clifford Geertz. Clifford Geertz actually posed that religion was more of a social system in that it creates a grand narrative of a general order using specific symbolism. For example, if we want to look at Marxism itself, maybe we just see the uh, symbol of the proletariat being the oppressed people. That would be all of us who are less than or middle class. And we see the bourgeoisie as the worst kind of oppressors in society. We actually project these ideas even though the rich themselves might be very nice, maybe a bit ignorant of what they're doing. And I realize that a lot of Marxist theorists have found ways to deal with this. Don't get me wrong about that. But what I am saying is when we take something too seriously, it seems to take over our whole lives. There have been people who've martyred themselves on behalf of their communistic ideology. Remember, communism itself doesn't necessarily promise a, a heaven in the hereafter, but rather wants you to push for a greater future. So don't think I'm just trying to rail against Marxism here and say it's wrong, it's religious in nature. No, it could very well be right. But what I am saying is it does have a tendency to cop out religious attitudes. And I'll say the same thing for libertarianism, maybe even uh, liberalism to a certain degree, so on and so forth. I don't want us to get anything wrong. Religion, as it's out and about, does have a lot of transcendent elements. God, karma, concepts that exist with outside of the realms of material reality. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that we can't adopt religious attitudes whenever we look to a specific ideology. I would say that shouldn't be a reason to ignore something. We should look at Marxism, libertarianism, what have you, through its own lens. And as a way of proving that, I just pushed to uh, Carnady's previous video about Trigg and Durkheim. In any case, I'm just going to end this little spiel and, and wish you a happy holidays and a very merry Christmas. Click the description if you want to know more. For the rest of the days, here is Carnady's.org.